What is good, my ninjas? We are back with another sparring breakdown. I opened up with a spinning hook kick to the leg. Mind you guys, Joe's only been training for about a year, so please be, be a little bit patient with him, guys. He's actually pretty good for someone who's only been training for a year. He actually pushes me. He never stops coming forward. He takes every shot like a man. So Joe's a natural fighter. Look how he pressures forward, guys. Anyways, guys, so I tried to bring out a little bit of my Taekwondo. You feel me? Do a double kick. Do a little low kick in there. Um, but guys, especially when you're a little bit more experienced than someone, you need to learn how to play with them. That's why I have my hands down. You're not supposed to just go out there and beat the crap out of someone who you have like five, six years experience on. You know, that's not fair. Anyways, I threw a little switch hook there. Uh, anyways, guys, right here, I threw a little jab. He slipped my first jab, but then I proceeded to throw another jab, body shot in the hook. So that's a classic jab cross hook. It wasn't all to the head. I did level changes, guys. I threw the jab to the head. Now I do a body shot and I do a hook, guys. So, remember, level changes, guys. You must always level change. Literally, level changes are some of the most important things you can do in fighting. You must always level change, guys, because it's just it's just a must. Anyways, guys, so here, you're going to see I tap the front glove to distract them. Throw my right hand, throw my three-piece in a soda, have a little bit of fried chicken on the side, a little bit of mac and cheese, have some soul food with it, you feel me? Anyways, guys, so over here, you're going to see I throw a little calf kick. That calf kick is great, guys. It can really bring someone down. So even in sparring, practice it, guys. You don't want to throw it full strength, but bring it out sometimes in sparring, guys. You really just want to work on it, guys. The more you work on it, the more you're going to throw it out in the actual fights. Me being a little bit cocky with my hands on again. Do my double kick, guys. Um, again, threw a little bit of my Taekwondo in there. Right here, guys, I back up. I go a little bit off the angle and just throw my left uppercut right there because he's coming straight forward. Oh. Now, to begin round number two, guys, you're going to see I'm going to be a little bit playful in the beginning. I throw two round kicks in my uh, southpaw stance. A uh, little side kick, guys. Now I'm going to throw a, a hook kick into a round kick. You know, guys, just playing around at first, guys. Just uh, having a little bit of fun out there. You see Joe's doing a pretty okay job at pressuring forward, keeping the pressure on me. No matter how many times he gets hit, he's still going to keep coming forward because Joe's a fighter. He don't go, fuck. He's going to keep coming forward. Right here, guys, I threw a double hook there uh, just to come in. And right here, guys, so I set this all up off of my round kick, off of my low kick, guys. So when I throw my low kick, it's actually going to bring me out on an angle to his side. From there... I have my right hand shot right there. Throw that round kick, throw that right hand right after. You're gonna have the angle for that right hand, guys, most likely. Um, obviously, there's counters and defenses for everything. However, that is also a pretty good defense. Right here, guys, you know I'm coming forward, guys, just trying to get my distance. Throw my double hook again. So, I come forward, throw my right body shot, throw my hook, I kinda missed that one. Then I throw my hook right here and get out the way. I got out the way at the shot, guys. You must always get out the way. Don't just stand there. Don't just watch your work. You watch your work. You got to get caught and knock the frick out. You, nobody wants to get knocked the frick out, right? Right here, I got hit in the nuts, but I try not to show it. It did hurt. I did want to cry. I did want to fall, but it happens. Right here, guys, I faked the low kick. It came up top with like kind of an axe kick. Just landed it on his face. Didn't do anything too crazy because I didn't want to hurt him. Um, again, guys, it's sparring. You're not out here to break each other's noses. You're out here to learn. So... If you're going to throw a kick like that, guys, make sure to control your power. Always control your power, guys. Please, please don't break each other's face. Right here, I did a mistake of throwing, like, you know, round kicks in my right leg a little bit too much. Uh, popped out my side kick. Try to keep him off of me. Sometimes you want to pressure forward. You got to hit that side kick. Went for also an outside sweep, outside trip, but I failed. I failed miserably. Come on, Albert. What are you doing? He went for a little switch jab there, almost got me there. So I was like, let me return the favor. Let me throw a little switch hook right back at you, buddy. And I threw that round kick, and I missed the round kick, but it is what it is, to be honest. Uh, right here, uh, another, again, switch. I got this from Dwayne Ludwig. Switch appeared, and I throw my left hook on the outside. So that's how you guys want to beat your opponent, guys. Create angles, confuse them. Don't Ten let seconds. them know exactly where you're standing. Because if they know where you're standing, if they know exactly what you're about to do, you're going to fail. Um, anyways, guys, Three, so it was the last two, 10 seconds, so I put one. my hands down, tried to work my defense. Probably something silly for me to do. This is the beginning of round number three. This is a good little round also, guys. Again, Joe has a ton of heart, bro. Much much respect to Joe for even coming out there and being part of my videos. Uh, but anyways, guys, so here I throw a double fake with my lead leg. Double fake, make him react. 
He skits back. I make him react my double fake. Throw my low kick right after that. Heavy low kick, guys. Uh, sometimes you could fake with your legs, too, guys. Again, right here, I faked in my legs so I can go forward and land my shots. Fake my right kick. He shoots down. Two things I'm going to, you know, he was thinking I was doing a body shot. Then right here, I'm in my switch stance. Now I can land my right hands, my right jabs, and I'm on the side, so he can't really counter me if his left because I'm off an angle. Guys, angles are the most important things, guys. I do these voiceovers, I do these sparring breakdowns, not so I can look good, but so people can learn through my combinations, through my experiences. So instead of me just making a video of me trying to teach you guys, I am showing you guys actual live footage of me doing so many things to help you guys. Right here, I go with my jab, my hook, uh, then I'm gonna start coming forward again. I'm gonna do kind of like a skip hook. I missed that one, but I'm able to land my right hand at the end, guys. So, my point here, guys, is to attack on combination, guys. Don't just throw one shot. Throw two, three shots, guys. Throw them quick. Throw them strong. Have good combinations, guys. So here, if you guys take notice, that I like to go in and out between my guard and uh, having my hands loose. I don't know why. It's just how I'm comfortable fighting. So, also, guys, here, keep note. I didn't stumble this part, but I end off a lot of combinations of low kicks. Especially in kickboxing, guys. That could really help you guys. End off a combination of low kicks. Mix your punches with your kicks. Mixing your punches with your kicks are one of the best things you can do. Again, guys, I do a fake low kick. Come back over with kind of a hook kick. I didn't really do the hooking motion because uh, I wanted to stop the power at the top. Um, do another double kick, guys. Double kicks are some of the best ones for me to throw. So, double kick right there. Now I'm got thinking about my right leg because I just threw it to his body. So, I'm going to lift up that right knee and make him think I'm throwing a shot. But then I'm gonna come over the top with my right jab and then circle back out. That, again, guys, you can fake with your legs, guys. You can fake, you can do feints with your hands and throw feints with your legs, guys. It goes hand in hand. You guys can do both. So anyways, guys, we're going close to the end of this round. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys share with your friends. If you guys don't, I'm going to box your mama. I'm going to box your auntie. I'm going to box your daddy, your auntie, your grandmama, whoever. I'm going to box all of them. Show them at their house. And I'm going to box them. And then last of all, I'm going to box you. So please subscribe or you're going to get these hands. Ninja is Fine. out. Usa.